plant life. This represents the stem of a plant. Various stems going off in different directions. You notice that they flow into the shaft here. In other words, they don't hit it abruptly like that, although some branches do. Now, I'm about to draw a flower at the end of these stems, but in order to do that, I have to draw an ellipse at right angles. So I draw a, a line that crosses the center line of the stem at right angles. Then I make a decision as to the proportions of the ellipse. This is fate. Then I join that with an ellipse. I'll clean it up later. Now an ellipse at right angles to this shaft would be something like this. I'm drawing direct. And the ellipse on this end of the shaft would be similar. But this would be somewhat different. Right angle to that shaft would be about this. And right angle to this shaft would be about that. So then I draw an ellipse. Then I draw a half a cup or half a circle underneath that. I don't sketch as rigidly as this. I do it freehand, more like this, so I can control it better. If I draw direct, it's hard to make changes. But if I sketch like I'm doing now, it's easier. If this is to become a flower, I will fear this, that is, blend this into that shape, which you see me doing here now. I will blend all of these half rounds directly into the base of the flower. Then I will draw petals going to the center. This is faking, of course. There's no particular flower. Then I draw the same petals on the opposite side, just a little smaller, all headed for the center. So when you start drawing a flower, of course, you have to draw the petals that you see in front of you. So here is the basic system of bringing the petals to the center. To start with, just to get a rough idea, it doesn't have to be a real flower. You just have to get used to drawing the ellipses and the petals in their appropriate place. The same process will be continued through all of these. Then you have a shaft in the middle of the plant, which is shaped very differently. Of course, it depends on the flower you're drawing. So, uh, this is basically the approach that you use. And this is basically what the artist is doing when they draw. They're tracing an image that they have in their associative memory, that is, the way they remember a flower. But if you don't have a reference or a flower in front of you, it's very hard to put the details in correctly. But so you don't have to. What you have to do to start with is draw an ellipse, a half round, and a shaft. Once you get used to that, you have the basis for putting a flower on the shaft of the plant. In this illustration, we're emphasizing variations on the theme. I'm moving forward from the ellipse. This is the ellipse. Then I'm turning the, the petal downward. And if this, again, is a fictitious plant, but if you want to know how to handle that, you use the ellipse as a guide, and you use a real plant, which gives you a picture of just how these things are drawn, or how they appear. Now, you'll notice that the leaves show a little bit of the underside. This makes it more interesting. Being a fictitious plant, this is a good system for you to use to practice drawing